In this little town lives a kitten named Cookie, his big brother Pudding, and their little sister Candy. Lots of other kittens live here too. Cookie, Candy, and Pudding, kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Mail. One lovely morning, friendly Mr. Mailcat was delivering packages and letters in his mail truck. But something went a little bit wrong. Hey! Wait! Oh, no! Looks like somebody won't be getting their packages at all. I bet they really wanted them, too. Hey, why don't the three of us deliver them? I always thought being a mail cat would be awesome, and here's our chance. We're, We're mail cats! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But the water had smudged the addresses on the packages. How would the kitty cats know who to deliver them to? I've got a great idea. We can guess who the packages are for by studying what the boxes look like. This one is a pretty box, all tied up with a nice ribbon and bow. Now, who likes pretty things? Cupcake, Cupcake does. does. My goodness, it's beautiful. And this one looks like it has a nice warm sweater inside. So it must be for Boris. He's always catching colds. I think there's a black umbrella in this one. And who do we know that loves the color black? Why, Smudge, of course. Oh. <laughs> But who is this last package for? Maybe it's gears and bolts for Dart. Or maybe some space gadget for Chase? Let's put the mystery box aside for now. Let's deliver the other ones, all right? The kitty cats delivered Smudge's package first. But it wasn't an umbrella after all. It was a tablet, and it was very, very not black. Oh, it's painful. Yuck! Their next stop was Boris's house to deliver the nice warm sweater. Oh no, this isn't the hat I wanted at all. I wanted the rainbow colored one with jingly bells. And Cupcake got the package with the pretty ribbon and bow. Uh, what is this? My head looks like a circus tent. Now we just have to figure out who the last package is supposed to go to. Hey, wait! I didn't order a silly-looking clown hat. I ordered a pink tablet. Then who do you think ordered the silly-looking hat? Well, someone who likes clowns, right? Oh, well, that would be Boris. That looks more like what I wanted. I look just like a real-life funny clown now, right? <laughs> <laughs> You'd never, ever see something that black on a clown. But you would see it on Smudge. Hooray! My sweater! Nice and gloomy. It really looks great on you, Smudge. This must be the pink tablet that Cupcake was expecting. It's just so pretty! The kitty cats had now delivered all the packages to their rightful owners, except for the mystery box. We should open it up and see what's inside. Then we can figure out just whose it is. I'm not supposed to open someone else's mail. Then how should we handle this? I'm tired of carrying it everywhere. <laughs> Mr. Mailcat's return was a very welcome sight. Oh, candy, cookie, pudding. A few packages seem to have fallen out of my truck. I don't suppose you three have seen them. Oh, looks like that's one of them. We found your missing boxes. And we delivered them to the rightful owners ourselves. Oh, thanks very much. I was getting a little bit worried they were lost for good. But we couldn't figure out who was supposed to get this package. Well, if the label is blurry, we could check the number on the side. It's package number 125, and here's the address. Let's all deliver some mail! Yay! Well, we're here. Oh, but this is our house. Yep, it surely is. It's also where this package belongs. So you're telling us that we just delivered a package to ourselves? We're, We're mail cats! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the mystery box turned out to be a package of gifts from Grandma. How kind! The three kitty cats felt great that they helped deliver joy and happiness to their friends and themselves.